In this story, this man, an older gentleman, wanted to build one of the large canoes 
We call it clunk. Some know it as a whaling canoe today. Transport canoes in the old days. They got together. They never just went out and selected a lot. But they sent out some of the younger men to, to the mountain. When they returned, they shared with the people that they had found the tree. The elders got together and they appointed one elder that was going to be responsible for taking down the tree. When our people harvested resources, they never just took off the land. There was also a ceremony involved. They would get cedar branches and ferns and lay it in the path where the tree was going to land. They would chant songs, songs particularly to the cedar, but also to ensure that this canoe was going to be ocean worthy and be a good provider for the families that are going to use it. And so the day come when they would uh, go and take down the tree. And when it was down, and then they appointed a head carver for many days, for many weeks, maybe months, and they would finally complete the task of building this great canoe. Once it was completed, they had to, to get it from the mountain to the ocean. Again, the whole community were invited to participate. Men, women, and children. Round poles were cut. They would lay these poles on the ground and they would pull, pull the large canoe. The young children would grab the, the round poles and run it to the front continuously as they're moving this canoe. And as they were working, they were working together. They would go, hop, whoa, hop, whoa. So everyone was working in unison. Finally, after several days, they would get the canoe down to the village. One day, one of the young men was going up hunting near the same area where the canoe was built. As he was walking, he heard this up, ho, oh, up, ho. Oh. And it was by a lake. He was thinking there must be some enemies or strangers around. So he started to sneak, sneaking along there, going from bush to bush, crawling on his hands and knees. Finally, he got over to a little ridge and he looked, and it was beavers. Beavers were imitating what the human beings were doing. One beaver was standing on the log they were pulling towards the lake, and the other beavers were pulling. They were going, hop, whoa, hop, oh. <laughs> the elders, when they told this story, they had a good time. And this story be told over and over and over again. But it's not just a story. Our people really believe that it's truths. 